Hi, this is a little short demo on how to use Lia script or edit it within the VS Code uh, online editor. First thing you might do is just create a new repository from your GitHub account. I'll check another one, use another one. Let's call this demo. Lia script preview. Let's make it public. No template. Add a readme, license, use a Creative Commons license, and create a new repository. So that's the basic idea of creating new repositories. But uh, you can either hit the uh, dot button or key on your keyboard, which will do the same as I will change the command line from github.com to github.dev, hit enter and it will start or set up the online editor for you. So nothing very special, basically uh, just an online editor, but you can go in the same way to these extensions, just type Lia script and there are two snippets that you can install. First of all uh, is Lia Script Snippets, which will give you a bunch of helpful commands. You just have to install it. That's it. Just copy and paste. Uh, copy this at first. Uh, copy the markdown, then Control Shift P, or go to the command line palette. Just type settings preference open workspace settings this is what we need oops that did not work so I just hit save it and now if you go back to your Lia script demo you can probably just type uh, Lia in it so this might be our starting point for our first course the problem is uh, if you preview this uh, with markdown or basic markdown uh, you won't see the beauty of Lia script, so that's why we check out the second one, Lia script preview web. Wait a bit. Or we directly hit install. So that's it, I guess. So you can either go to the command line palette again, just type a script toggle preview alt l first loading might take a few seconds and this is just a basic course double click for navigating All the Lia script features actually work. Just embedding some text. If we change this to the presentation mode, then you'll have this enable sound. We use the browser's text. But you can also include other features such as spoken text. Insert any kind of audio file even videos or change the language completely. Первоначально создан в 2004 году Джоном Грубером Angle, Джон Грубер и Аро. That's it. So, for we do else, just you have these other stuff, some diagrams, some quizzes. 
filters, check. Uh, what was the solution? Okay. And executable code. This was very tricky to enable this uh, within the previewer for VS Code Web. But you can basically create executable markdown snippets. That's it. Have fun. Um, what I forgot to say is that uh, now we made some changes. All those changes are stored within your browser. So you see there's this uh, source control, like in GitHub. We can extend this. We append. Oops. This was the wrong one. Settings. Uh, I don't know where it's stored here locally. But actually, what we want to do is just to push or add these uh, changes within our markdown file. So you see the difference. There's a lot of this has happened or was added. Probably we just add these changes into staged mode. Create a nice comment message. Create it and in the shell. Of course. And that's it. Commit and push. So you see all the changes are gone. And you can now go to GitHub probably back. Hmm? I expect okay. So simply change the def to com. And it will load the actual course. So you know how to share this, simply go to the markdown file. The easiest one is to grab the raw URL, copy it, go to the leascript.github.io page, either enter your markdown URL in here, or simply which does the same course, question mark, at the URL, enter, and it will load your course. So now you can share this URL with all of your students or who might ever be interested in.